Yo, what is up guys? I'm Dane. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build the four God Gauntlet Wonder Weapons in Ancient Evil, along with all 20 dormant hand locations as well. If you want to skip any particular gauntlet, or you just want to see the handles themselves, there's timestamps on screen right now, so you can skip straight to that point without wasting any of your time. But let's get straight into the video. First of all, we're going to start with the dormant hand locations. There are 20 locations in total, and for each single location, the Oracle, which is in spawn, will actually give you a hint as to where whereabouts these locations are. I'm going to put a little bit of text on top of the screen so if you hear the oracle say anything that regards the text at the top of the screen you can use this video to know exactly what location to find that hand. So starting off you want to take yourself to the intersection of treasuries. There you're going to find some gems and inside one of those gems it's going to be one of the handles. You're going to have to knife this one to actually be able to grab it. The second one can be found just to the right hand side there is a staircase. If you walk down the stairs there is going to be a pile of dirt on the floor. It's going to be shining purple so you know it's inside there, knife it and it will reveal the second hand. The third location is over at the Stoa of Athenians next to the big golden statue. It's going to be right next to a boat and it's going to be inside of a vase. The fourth location is going to be just behind that, underneath the big golden statue, is going to be next to the little pond. Again, it's going to be in a vase. The fifth location, if you turn left, go down the stairs, it's going to be underneath another statue, again on the floor, inside of another vase. If you carry on straight down the next set of staircase, next to where a mystery box location is, just on the left hand side, you're going to find your sixth location. Then if you turn right from there, go down the stairs again, and right opposite the Zeus perk, on the floor in a pile of dirt is going to be your seventh location. The eighth location, again, just turn right, go all the way up until you find the big golden ball. It's going to be just behind him inside of a vase right at the corner of the wall. That's your eighth location. And the next location, which is the last location for this part of the map, can be found just to the right hand side of that. The big giant arrow that goes into the ground is going to be just in there on the right hand side underneath a pile of rubble. Now, the last locations are located underground in the Python Pass, and to be able to get here, you're going to have to ride Pegasus. If you don't know how to do that already, there's a quick and easy tutorial in my description. Click it, it's very, very easy, and that will allow you to ride Pegasus to get to the underground so you can find the other location. As soon as you spawn in on the staircase, walk down on the left hand side, there's going to be a pile of rubble just there, right on the corner. The next location is going to be down the staircase, left to right, doesn't matter, but it's going to be on the left hand side of the Odin perk, and it's going to be in a pile of dirt. The next location is going to be down the path in the cliff ruins next to the forge room. Next to the forge is going to be on the left hand side of the forge right there on the floor. The next location is going to be pretty much right behind you. If you turn right there's going to be a workbench to the right hand side of the forge and that is going to be your other hand location. Now if you take a right follow the path all the way down this is going to be your 14th location and it's going to be right next to the bird slash eagle cage on the left hand side which again is going to be in a pile of dirt. If you follow that path all the way around you're going to get yourself to a broken a bridge. The next location can be found there on the right hand side. The 16th location is going to be opposite Pack-a-Punch next to one of the God Gauntlet statues right next to the white pillar. The next location if you turn around behind Pack-a-Punch there's usually a fast travel up there as well. There's going to be one just to the left hand side of that. Now take yourself out of Pack-a-Punch to the right hand side. You're going to find one of the bowls used to activate the acid trap. Just next to the bowl on the left hand side there's going to be a giant crystal where you can find your 18th location. You have to knife this crystal to be able to get this particular hand. The 19th one can be found next to the Titan wall by which is if you follow the path all the way up to the Python path you're going to find the Titan that wall by. On the left hand side of the Titan wall by you're going to find another crystal. Looks a little bit broken. Again knife it. That's going to be your 19th location. And the last and a final location can be next to the Sharon altar which is basically the red god gauntlet. It's going to be right next to the fire pit. It's going to be in a pile of dirt so again just melee the pile of dirt to reveal the hand. This is also next to one of the hammer locations for the Pegasus strike as well. Now you have your dormant hand you can then go on to the next step and start building your actual gauntlet. To keep this nice and easy for people that may not know the names of all these gauntlets we're just going to call it red, blue, green and yellow. Should make it a hell of a lot easier. Also note you can only carry one dormant hand at one time. So you're going to have to pick up a dormant hand, go and put it over into where the gauntlet is, finish the gauntlet ritual, then go and find another dormant hand to be able to do the next gauntlet. You are going to have to do all four gauntlets to progress in the easter egg, so bear that in mind. So for the green gauntlet, you're going to want to take yourself to the Spartan Monument. You're going to find a big green ritual there. You're then going to want to place your dormant hand inside the ritual, and you're going to be entered into a small ritual. You're going to have to stay there for about 10-15 seconds. There's going to be about 15-20 to 20 zombies with a green mist. You're going to have to kill them all. When you've done that, you can then move on to the next step straight away and 
upgrade it and by doing this you need to actually pick up the gauntlet itself so equip the gauntlet it will take place of one of your weapon slots and then you need to find three crystal trees around the map the three locations are as follows if you turn left to where the actual gauntlet is walk up to the intersection of treasuries you're going to find a tree there with three crystals on it the next location for this tree can be found at the stoa of athena so this is with the big statue and it's going to be on the far end behind the statue itself and the third location can be found at a temple terrace which is directly outside of spawn on the left hand side what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to pull out your green gauntlet and you're gonna have to shoot each crystal on the tree there are three crystals on each tree in total when you do that a little plant is gonna pop up from the ground you're then gonna have to pick up that plant and transport it to where you've done the gauntlet ritual you're gonna walk very slow you can sprint a little bit if you hold l3 but it's not a lot but it does help you can have no weapons or anything at all this can easily be done on solo you're gonna have to do this for each and every location i have just noticed and then you're going to be able to go into the main ritual to upgrade that gauntlet you simply hold square on the ritual stone you will be teleported to a different part of the map in here you're going to have to hold it down you're going to have unlimited ammo in your gauntlet itself and you're just going to have to kill everything that comes at you this is going to last for about 30 seconds there's going to be about 30 to 40 zombies and i would just spam r2 as fast as you can and kill everything that comes at you when you're finished a green portal is going to open you're going to be teleported back into the map and that is going to be the first green gauntlet upgraded for the light gauntlet which is the yellow one you're gonna have to take yourself to the statue of Kratos and this is gonna be up by the amphitheater at the top of the map again grab yourself a dormant hand place it into the ritual you're gonna have to do a small event where you're gonna have to hold off for about 15 to 20 seconds kill a bunch of zombies you can then start to upgrade this particular gauntlet to upgrade this gauntlet what you're gonna have to do in three particular locations there are gonna be mirrors up on the wall outside of the map you're gonna have to shoot these mirrors so the angle towards a white gen you then use R2 to shoot your light gauntlet at that mirror. It will bounce off the mirror, bounce into the gem, and then bounce into a bowl which is very close nearby. The objective of this is then to melee that bowl which is holding the light and transport that light all the way up to the original ritual of where you just done the hold down event for the actual gauntlet. This is timed. Stamina up does help, but it can be done without stamina up depending on what route you take. Now the three locations for these mirrors, gems and bowls are as follows. You've got one at the upper bridge. The mirror itself will be outside of the map on the left hand side. The gem will be just to the right of it on top of the bridge and the actual bowl where the light will go once you have to melee which will be at the other end of the bridge. Again, melee this take this light all the way back to the ritual when you get to the ritual melee the ritual and it will place the light inside one of the bowls the next location is going to be at the bathhouse this one's a little bit smaller but if you look at the top of the cathedral where the bathhouse is you're going to see a tiny mirror at the top again shoot it it's going to bounce to the gem which is just in front that gem is then going to redirect it to a bowl which is just to the right hand side with melee the bowl and then take that light all the way to the gauntlet ritual and again melee one of the bowls to place your second light the next location is going to be outside temple terrace which again is directly outside of a spawn the mirror itself is if you're facing the actual cathedral itself is going to be right up on the top left hand side the white gem is going to be opposite that on the left hand side and the bowl is going to be directly under the mirror right inside the entrance of a spawn again rinse and repeat melee that run it to the gauntlet ritual and place it into the actual ritual itself when you've got all three lights you can then enter this ritual and it's exactly the same as the other gauntlets you hold square you go into a small ritual you have to kill everything inside there unlimited ammo you could either hold r2 for a charge attack and just spin around in a circle or just spam r2 to kill everything that is there when you've done that you're going to be teleported back into the main map that is going to be your second gauntlet upgraded onto the third gauntlet this is going to be the blue one and this can be found underground right opposite pack punch again hold square on the ritual stone hold down that blue circle until you've killed all the zombies and you're able to pick up the gauntlet itself then you can move on to actually upgrading it now to be able to upgrade this one you have to catapult zombies into the feather ends of giant arrows this will knock out a little blue feather which you then have to shoot once or twice which will then push it over to the actual gauntlet ritual itself to complete it the first arrow location is going to be right next to the ritual and pack a punch itself it's going to be on the back of the map line up your zombie so it's just in front of it hit r2 so it shoots a zombie the zombie will get catapulted up onto that feather a little blue feather will float across you need to hit this one once and that will transport that 
back into the ritual that is your first one complete the second arrow location is going to be at the cliff ruins this one can be found if you spawn into the map take a left and it'll be right next to the mystery box and the big blue forge again line up a zombie hit r2 catapult that zombie into the feather the feather will come out lighting up blue you then have to shoot this one twice to make it reach the actual gauntlet ritual itself and the last arrow location can be found in python pass this one is if you spawn into the map you take a right this is going to be next to a mystery box is going to be next to the sharon which is the red gauntlet is also going to be next to a hammer part as well and it's going to be slightly out of the map again line up your zombie catapult the zombie using r2 into that feather a small blue feather will appear shoot it twice and again it will be transported all the way back to the blue gauntlet ritual stone we'll go into the blue gauntlet ritual stone hold square you're going to be teleported into another area of the map again just kill everything that you can hold r2 with this one it's very very easy they're going to spawn from all directions it's not going to take long when you're finished you're going to get a big blue portal that was that one upgraded as well the last one we're going to be doing is the red gauntlet the sharon gauntlet this gauntlet can be found just on the right hand side as you spawn into the map it's going to be next to a mystery box again get inside that circle put a dormant hand inside the ritual itself do a small lockdown event 15 to 20 zombies kill them all pick it up you're ready to upgrade take yourself back up to the main area of the underground which is called the river of sorrows which is opposite the perk here you're gonna have to kill anywhere between 10 to 15 zombies with the gauntlet itself you know when you have done it because a little sign is going to come up on screen which is going to say drink from the river of sorrows be warned before you go into this you are going to go into a particular type of mode where if you get hit by a zombie you will not regenerate health at all so make sure if you're doing this solo there's only one zombie on the map maximum of two and if you're in a co-op game make sure somebody is holding a zombie for you the objective of this is you need to pick up three coins but there are about 20 coin locations now i'm not going to go through all 20 coin locations but let me tell you they are very very easy to find they are very bright and they shine through the walls as well you need to go and find every single coin location and pick it up if you hear a fire sound effect that means you have not picked that coin up if you hear a ding sound effect which sounds like somebody flicking a coin you have then picked that coin up you need to pick up enough coins to hear three dings before you can carry on again there are about 20 locations they shine for the walls they're bright yellow they're so easy to find it will take you about four minutes maximum to find every single one when you finally picked up three coins which are randomized by the way you can then take those three coins back and place them in the red gauntlet ritual hold square on the ritual you're going to be teleported into another area you have to kill all the zombies as usual spam r2 or use a special attack by holding r2 totally up to you after you finish the ritual a big red portal is going to open you're then going to be teleported back into the underground part of the map and that is going to be all your gauntlet that's upgraded and you are then going to be able to progress with the easter egg if you wish to do so there is also a pack a punch version of these and i'm going to be making a video for that as well and i'll put a link in the description if you want to learn how to pack a punch these a little bit harder i must say but anyway guys thank you so much for coming out and showing some love on the video if you enjoyed this video want any more types of these videos or tutorials be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like to let me know that you've liked it and leave a comment down below plenty more tutorials in the description as well anyway homies thank you so much until the next video this is your boy dame animal